Hello everyone and welcome to the next installment of the Kingdom Hearts 1 Level 1 Boss Guide series. Today we are still in Halloween Town tackling on Oogie Boogie. Much easier than Lock and Barrel. The uh, best thing I can recommend is making sure you have Cure equipped and you're ready to use the Genie Summon as we're going to be making use of Damage Storage which I'll explain during the boss fight. And without further ado, let's hop right into our menu. Alright, so hop in right into the menu and click on the items and see that Sora has an Ether, a Mega Potion, and a Potion equipped. Jack has nothing as well as Goofy. Moving into equipment, Sora still only has the three wishes and no accessories. Jack is going to have two Proterra Chains and Goofy will have the Stout Shield, Inferno Band, and the White Fang. Moving on over to abilities, we will have Experience Zero and Dodge Roll on Sora. Jack will have all of his base abilities equipped, no need to change them at all, they're good as they are. Moving on over to Goofy, he will have Cheer, we'll also have High Jump in our shared abilities. As far as customize goes, just make sure you have Cure, you really won't have to use Blizzara or Arrow. Alright, so hopping into the boss fight, we're going to want to first make sure that we get rid of the Heartless that are floating around. Um, if you leave them, they'll be attacking you. Like you can see, they've already killed off Jack and Goofy, so we're going to have to finish them off ourselves. As soon as you finish the second one, as only two should have spawned in, these buttons around the center area will start to glow. You're going to want to lock onto Oogie Boogie and make sure you click on the one he's in so you'll be able to get attacks off. You want to jump to the side of him and that's because you don't want him to hit you right away. Let him attack and then go in for some aerial combos. Once he knocks you down, uh, I go ahead and use my Mega Potion there to pick them back up so I can summon the Genie. And this is because we now have damage storage which essentially means that once we have finished a full combo and done the finisher on the combo, which was our aerial ones, uh, we now are going to have more attack coming out from our summons and our magic. So I like to use Genie here, try to get off two, possibly even three showdowns, and that will allow you to get off a lot of damage on Oogie Boogie, even though you can't really see it. Once genie is gone and we only have jack and goofy back we're going to want to make sure to dodge those dice that fall down if they're the ones that aren't glowing and explode we can go ahead and try to knock and parry those back for a little bit of damage and then again once the buttons light up we're going to step on it hop on over to oogie boogie and get in some aerial combos and he's going to knock us down and then those gates should drop and now we're just kind of waiting for him to do something most likely he's going to go ahead and throw those exploding dice right away but as you can see here he just went in straight for these um, saws that are jumping up and down and if you go against them they're a little bit easier to dodge and if you get hit by any chance just make sure you go ahead and cure again step on the buttons when they start shining Go to the side of Oogie Boogie, jump up, and start getting in your aerial combos. He's going to go ahead and knock us off again as you can only get in three, possibly four combos before he decides to throw you off. And then here, he throws down these. These are the ones I was talking about that we can go ahead and try to parry. Fortunately, it did hit me. I wasn't able to knock any back on him, but that is fine. Uh, right here is when he decides to use his healing ability. We really don't have any track of his health as we are on level 1 and we never unlock scan. So it's kind of hard to tell how much this really got him up in health. But it couldn't have been too much because the fight isn't too much longer from here. I think I only have about 2-3 to three more of these little light uh, buttons I need to step on. So again once they start lighting up we're going to go ahead and jump to the side of him. Go up for a few aerial combos until he decides to knock us off his platform. And then, right now, you really don't have to be focusing on Jack or Goofy. If they die, it's not too big of a deal. The only help they'll really be right now is if Heartless end up getting spawned in again, such as right now. As you can see, Goofy was able to get off a lot of damage on him. I was kind of hoping they wouldn't do too much so I could get a lot of MP back up, but I already had a decent bit, so it wasn't too big of a problem. As you can see, I already have three of them. I just didn't get the orange bar on it. Once you defeat those Heartless or any other traps he set 
that off, just make sure you go ahead and step on the button, jump to the side, let him attack, and then go in for your aerial combos. And that's pretty much it for the fight. Not too difficult of a one, much easier than Lock, Shock, and Barrel. And then all we have left in this area is to defeat the Ogie Manor, and then we'll be on to the next world. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like and subscribe if you did enjoy. And also check out my Instagram page. It's Tinny Roger Gaming, same as my YouTube account. And if you leave a follow or subscribe on anything, it really help out a lot. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you. Thank you.